From antique Cox gas engine you controlled airplanes to today's streamlined electrics, sit back and enjoy the fun and a bit of model airplane history. This was the first trophy I ever won for model airplane flying. And in the picture, you see me holding a Vico Junior Thunderbird with differential flaps. This was the first contest I had ever entered. It was a stunt contest. Today they call that 3D. Anyway, this was actually the second step in my flying career. You see, back in 1958, I had already been flying Cox Model U controls too. P40s, the blue and yellow PT19s, etc. By the time I began flying bigger gas Yukis, I was no longer flying them on 25 foot strings, however. Now they were on 60 foot steel cables. The planes had quite a pull and really were fun to fly. They were very capable of doing eights, square eights, wing overs, inverted flying, loops, all kinds of squares actually. And if you knew what you were doing, you'd never have a tangled line at the end of the flight. Well, then while in Vietnam in 1969, a pilot brought me a Yuki to build and fly when I was off duty. I worked 12 on, 12 off, fixing the RF-4B Phantom jet electrical problems as they came in uh, daily uh, with every flight. But when I came back home, I actually began doing uh, radio control and never went back um, until today to the Yukis. Well, in between time, back in the early 70s, uh, the original Cox, which was Testers Incorporated, then became Leisure Dynamics owned. And they began making small engine planes that were heavy and flew pretty good for Yukis. Well, when Larry, a roller skating friend of mine, asked me if I wanted some old Cox model airplanes last week, I said, absolutely. You know, being all Cox, I knew they were going to be in control and I got excited to try it again. And as you're seeing, I have some pretty interesting looking planes here. And then I'll fly a couple of them, ending with a modern twist. The original Cox company was called the L.M. Cox Manufacturing Company and founded in 1945 by Roy Cox. He made many, many models, cars, planes, engines, lots of tethered stuff. Well, in 1969, Roy retired and sold the company to Leisure Dynamics. In 1983, Leisure Dynamics faced bankruptcy, so sold the company to William Seltzer. He was the designer of the Baby B049, and they moved to Corona, California in 1990 under the name of Cox Hobbies, Inc. In 1996, leading toy rocket manufacturer Estes Industries purchased Cox Hobbies and began selling a line of RC airplanes now being sold by Gravity Hobby, Inc. Many of us grew up on these 049 engines in U-Control, so I hope this spurred some memories. It sure did for me, especially the mess. Now, let's put some strings on. To fly these gas models, you needed to be somewhat coordinated, understand a little bit about flight, be an engine expert to start to keep the engines running, and have a little common sense about safety. Always read the instructions. They really helped in the days when something went wrong. There were many ways to get the glow plug hot, and you needed to know a little bit about the engine, how it worked, and about the sound of sizzle. Here you see the glow head removed to expose the piston. With the battery connected, you can see the glow. Notice the connecting rod attached to the crankshaft in this picture. There were no carburetors on these engines. They worked on one-way valves that pull the fuel in on the upstroke. They were called reeds. You can see the tiny reed membrane under the circular retainer in this picture. The original fuel here was usually 10 to 15 percent nitro and the rest was alcohol and castor oil. Today we use mostly synthetic. So hang on to your seatbelt, you might need it. Enjoy. Backwards. Backwards. These engines could run either direction, and it didn't matter how you flipped it, they usually started backwards. Backwards. Using the spring after it runs a bit makes it go the right way. Alright, let's try the spring.
Holy cow. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> I gotta run out of gas pretty soon. Jeff, I'm dying. Oh my God. I am extremely dizzy. Oh, 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 man, you don't even know. Now I know what the half full on the tank is supposed to be. Oh my God. Now let's try the antique P40. Then and now. The design of this engine meant it'd have to run rich on the ground and it would lean out in the air, so it was a fine adjustment. Okay, go! This is the nice and quiet Airfield RC P40 from Nitroplanes. This is really a great flying plane. I like it. I especially like this plane and the clip-on landing gear so I can remove the landing gear and land on grass. Uh, and it quits. <laughs> Oh, 
I think I'm going to start messing around with a little new control now. Maybe I'll try electric. 